What is up Silver Squad and welcome back to a new video. I had made a video before this but eh wasn't that good. When I was in uh, editing it wasn't that good so I was like yeah scrap it I'll just make something else. Now before I go into the, the reddit the subreddit into that deep dive into the depths of internet I wanted to thank you guys. I wanted to thank you guys for the, the love and appreciation that you guys gave my last video uh, the cover I did. Uh, I really wasn't sure at all uh, if I wanted to post it or not because honestly eh, I was kind of insecure about it but uh, it almost hit like 200 views and um, yeah that, that hit me hard in a good way so I really wanted to thank you guys before diving into the video now if this video could hit as much views that would be even better but before I go too much into sellout modes let's just dive into the reddit shit <laughs> Let's just dive in. <laughs> I know she can be so stuck up. A baddie with a fatty and a million bucks. She looking so bad, she knows what's up. Yeah, what's up, girl, what's up? Yeah. Come out with the one, two, I gotta have it. Yeah, treat me like a savage. Yeah. All right, so um, the first one I found is very obviously just a simple ask reddit now ask reddit is really simple <laughs> It's basically people ask shit. It could be smart could be stupid. They just ask shit now Have you ever had a question about yourself then post this shit on here so I can read it and laugh at you <laughs> I won't laugh at you probably 50 years ago casual racism sexism etc was accepted tolerated by most of society what do we tolerate except now that the next generation won't wait straight men of reddit what's the strangest thing you've been told not to do because that's gay <laughs> I saw a screenshot a little while ago from a woman who, th who thought glasses looked kinda gay fuck you <laughs> <laughs> Caption on the screenshot was, fellas, is it gay to see? <laughs> uh, all men on earth are just throwing their glasses like, fuck, fuck being, fuck seeing, I, I don't want to be gay. If you can see that means you can see naked men, <laughs> that's gay as hell. <laughs> use a straw, because apparently it's like having a tiny penis in your mouth. I still use straws and haven't had the urge to sick a duck, a dick, a duck. Jesus, don't suck, don't suck ducks. Suck dick, but don't suck ducks. I still use draw straws and haven't had the urge to suck a dick yet. <laughs> I'm just imagining someone walking up to someone else and being like, All right, um, Johnny Johnny? Yes, Papa. Do you use straws? Yes, Papa. Uh, you, you put them in your mouth? Yes, Papa. Open wide. Fuck no. <laughs> Just <laughs> imagining it's kind of funny to me. I still use straws and I haven't had to. <laughs> but now you can't stop. Otherwise, you'll get sucked with straws and start needing that tea. A guy I worked with constantly said this. He would always get mad at me and tell me, men don't use straws. You order a beer and ask for a straw. I mean, it's like saying, do you drink coffee with a straw? So yeah, it's kind of like saying like, oh, do you use a straw with your tea or with your coffee? Like... Some beverages just work with a straw and some don't. Co uh, coincidentally, I like using straws because I have long facial hair and it's much easier than getting my mustache into my drink. <gasps> I know that feeling. I mean, I never had the mustache long and uh, like the mustache or the beard like long enough to actually get shit in there. But I have felt the, the whole like wet mustache because you drink something. It's horrible cross my legs i mean nah it's not i I'm, I'm i'm trying to find ways of how someone could interpret it, it as being gay i mean i guess some people could see it as being feminine but feminine doesn't mean gay you can be feminine and straight so i guess some people see feminine as gay so they say oh if you cross your legs you're not a man uh if you cross your legs you must face the cross of jesus vade <laughs> retro satanas Rest your ankle on your knee, not gay. Rest your thigh on the other thigh, gay. Thank you, mad goon. I mean, your name says it all. You're a mad goon. I find this myth that supposedly female cross their legs and males sit with their legs wide open to be so weird. The majority of humans, male or female, crosses their legs when sitting. It's like saying girls like chocolate, most individuals like chocolate. Let's be honest that at least 90% of male like chocolate. I mean... Some, yeah, some people cross their legs because they're more comfortable like that. I personally am more of a, more a, more of a put my feet 
my, like my foot on the leg like like not totally on it it's like resting on my on my knee it's kind of weird um but yeah like if let if the guy wants to fuck women and cross his legs let him do that uh i don't i don't do that because it hurts my balls not because it's gay yeah i mean that's that was my reasoning of like why most men wouldn't cross their legs because you have balls so if you like cross your legs it would hurt as hell my sister had psychology lessons at her university she told me that her teacher explained that every man that went to see a prostitute were secretly gay because they were seeking out the previous man penises to prostitutes which <laughs> She's adamant that the teacher really said that, but of course it's a second-hand story. <laughs> I'm just, oh god, I mean, I'm in college. I'm in university. So, it's really weird to imagine, a, a, like, a, a professor, you know, someone who studied for years to just tell his people, like, tell his students, like, oh no, don't go to prostitutes, they will make you gay. Ma'am, ma'am, aren't prostitutes women, like, Yes, but you, you see, Jimmy, now the man wants to seek the other man's penis through the vagina. The girl is more of a, uh, a transition. Ma'am, ma why, why doesn't he just fuck a man? <laughs> why doesn't he just grab a dick? <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. I'm, I'm hearing the same thing about the US soldiers in Vietnam. That the prostitutes were basically just a go-between and what the men really wanted was to hook up with each other. Then just fucking hook up with each other! Jesus! Alright, hi guys. Uh, Editor Chami here for a second. I know the phrase I just said could have been taken out of context. Uh, like to say that it was really easy to be gay back then. I know it wasn't, I know it was hard. Uh, just the phrase in general didn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, I know it was pretty hard for the men back then to be gay, so if a guy was gay, he probably had to find another way. But still, doesn't really make sense, a lot of sense to me. Like, why the teacher would say that. That's what I meant. Recognize that another man is handsome. Like, bro, I have eyes and know how female attraction works. I mean, there again, th there's a whole difference between finding a man attractive, no, not attractive, like, pretty. He, he looks pretty and being attracted to a man i could say that a certain man is good looking because you know he has a like a good maybe a good like shave or a good haircut or like he's nicely dressed then he's good looking that doesn't mean i'm attracted to him because i'm not <laughs> I, just, I just if i compliment a guy that doesn't mean i'm instantly into him just like every time i compliment a girl doesn't mean i'm instantly into her People are weird. Being over because I don't like cocktails or sugary drinks. <laughs> I think female voices are nice. Ha! Gay! <laughs> I work with a dude like this. I usually comment he would rather have a dude singing to him than a girl, and that's gay. And that's gay! <laughs> it's not, but it bothers him. I mean. Come on! Jesus! If you like Beyonce. Okay, then you might have a high chance of being gay, but like, if you like to listen to Billie Eilish, doesn't make you gay, just means you like Billie Eilish. Jesus. Girlfriend insisted I stop working out and get a dad bod. Same. Being late is pretty fucking gay. <laughs> yeah, true. Being late is pretty gay honestly like if you if you if you're gay then you're always late and if you're always late it's gay like it's a circle it's a circle it just keeps saying the same thing all right eating pussy seriously homie told me it was submissive to eat pussy and kind of gay it's oh my god then i swear to god the next thing the next thing they're going to say is that fucking a woman is gay. I mean, they already technically did it with the whole prostitutes thing. They already said, like, if you fuck a woman, it might be gay. Oh, my God. Do we need, do we need to look up what gay means? Because I think some people really need to know what being gay means. Being gay means you are attracted to the same gender. That's it. <laughs> that means that a woman is attracted to a woman and a man to a man.
That's it. There's nothing more. There's no criteria. There's no checklists. Jeez, I just spat everywhere. That was disgusting. There's no checklist of things you need to be to be gay. Because if we do that, we're going back to the 90s. And honestly, the 90s were fun, but there was a lot of shit in the 90s. Stop it! It was Jamaican, and I hear that's widespread belief down there. Also, I heard a rapper once say eating bananas without cutting them was sus. I don't want to know what sus means. Or sus? Sis? Only if it's a girl. Wait, whoa, what? It's actually a super gay thing to do, depending on the context. It's... It's a fruit. I'm the Freddie Mercury in feeding pussy. Tonight I'm going to have myself a real good time. So actually, this is pretty true. It's easy to hook up in Jamaica if the ladies know you eat pussy like groceries. Oof. Thing with the whole question thing. Let's go to r slash stupid questions. So, uh, basically, ask all your stupid and or embarrassing questions here. Don't understand something that seemingly everyone else understands? Ask it here. Alright, pretty, pretty, uh, explanatory. Just going out there. Can you carbonate a drink by burping in a straw? Oh no! Oh god! No, that's disgusting! Don't! Mm. Now for the people who don't know what queefing is... Internet away, my son. What about... Oh, my friend says she can bring my flat beers back to life that way. And I've always been too scared. Um... Oh, I'm actually nauseous. Ah, no! Mm-mm! 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 Where did Webster look up definitions when he wrote the dictionary? <laughs> what happens to almonds after they've been... <laughs> so why did the beer co company Corolla decide to name their, this beer from this virus? I don't understand. It's the viral marketing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you really think that the... Oh my god. You really... Oh good. Thanks. You really think that the people who made the corona beer like, i know this is a meme i know i know there's the whole corona corona beer coronavirus meme you really think the people from corona are going to like they're going to have a meeting and they're going to be like all right so we need a name for a new beer what are some suggestions and then just one guy in the corner just goes like raises his hand just goes yeah me me i have an idea let's give it that virus name we got and then they just called it corona exactly that's how it's yep depends on you sleeping aids all, uh, often only work if you're if you are already tired but somehow can't sleep i read that once somewhere so this is not 100 percent sure oh god why did you write sure like that it's it's literally just s-u-r-e we're just gonna end with r slash facepalm now as an intu intellectual myself i would like to think of you uh, of, of reddit as a, a collective of dumbasses now this reddit is going to prove that so it's uh, about the community a subreddit for you to share the stupidity of people online and irl post screenshots from forums social media sites or just real life please Read all of the sidebar before posting. Thanks. All right. Uh, somebody try reporting my friend's premium Snapchat. Uh, how does this even happen? Royal Family's official website suffers an embarrassing blunder as pre page promoting Princess Harry's Welsh charity wrongly links through to a Chinese porn site. Oh boy. But like the the the, the title's right. Oh. Uh. Yeah. How do you how do you fuck that up? <laughs> how do you fuck that up? You just. I mean. I, I don't I, I I can't edit, but how do you do that? <laughs> oh, this is great! <laughs> Good job, editor. <laughs> Something in Chinese. I don't know what. I'm just the editor. <laughs> oh, why is that? <laughs> Why is that not me? I don't want to be associated with that. Plus, the dude probably has the coronavirus, so he might just <coughs> on my ass and I'm dead. <laughs> CNN legal analyst Arriva, Arriva Martin accu accuses David Webb of white privilege before learning he's black. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, if I worked there, I wouldn't tell her. 
I, I would just let let her go with the whole I just let keep going keep going with the whole white privilege bullshit you know and then the moment she uh has an interview with the dude <laughs> I just tell her like oh there it is ask your questions away Reva <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Okay then, working together to reduce flood risk. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> nice try. I'm done posting on Reddit. It seems that every post I tried to take it to make it taken down for some obscure reason. <laughs> taken down. Oh, <laughs> uh, can. Oh no, not that one. Oh, I uh, I really hope you guys have seen that video. It's the. You should look it up. It's like the it's like a dude, and he like reads these questions. Uh, were on, I think it was like Ask.fm or something. I don't remember, or Yahoo. It was no, I think it was on Yahoo. I'm pretty sure it was on Yahoo questions, and they're all they're all spending pregnant, but like on the worst way, like the pregnant or the pregnant. It's so dumb. It's funny. Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? Am I pargant? Am I gregnant? Am I pegnate? Help? Is there a possibility that I'm pegrant? Am I pregnant or am I okay? Could I be pregonate? How do I know if I'm pregan? Can I be pregnant? Can u get pregante? Can u bleed while u are pergert? Can u down? So can pregnant women go swimming? I am a man, so I don't know. Is it possible for pregnant women? Oh, sorry pregnant women to go swimming with with out unintentionally drowning the baby how come the baby breathe if the vagina is underwater should the women keep the vagina above water so the baby can breathe the vagina? just imagine all the women at the pool like all the pregnant women at the pool just with their legs in the air just like floating <laughs> Uh, now I'm, I won't explain this to you because you guys probably know. <laughs> Thank you, Internet. Really sodding helpful. Solutions for for when your car door won't open from inside or outside. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Lubricating. Lub. What? Lubricating the door latch is one of the ma the ways in which door. What? Who? Who is going to put lube on their fucking door latch? That makes no sense. <laughs> oh my god! Don't don't put lube on your fucking door latch. The door latch. Roses are red. I had brand in 2013. A Brazilian woman laced her vagina with poison in an attempt to kill her husband with oral sex. He noticed a strange odor emanating from her private parts and took her to the hospital, where she confessed her plan. I love poetry. Trash, trash, trash cannot work. <laughs> just hobble, <laughs> dead. Just, just put the the. Oh god, oh this dude just went into fucking Super Saiyan four. Fuck, I had a another nightmare. I had short hair. I hope every time you see someone with big hair you think of me I mean how does he get that hair to stay up is it is it hairspray does he just fuck gravity maybe he fucks gravity despite this self-proclaimed green thumb resident attempt to mask the overwhelming smell of cannabis coming from his probably <laughs> vanilla mighty oak car air freshener police were still able to look at the setup <laughs> It's just so cute. It's just this tiny tree, this tiny like smell, like uh, like like vanilla smelling tree. But then there's like this huge stash of the green bush behind. Oh, oh, Markiplier! This is going to be a great one to end on. I'm pretty sure it's because they tend to be lighter, which is why most flight attendants are female rather than male to save fuel. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect time. Oh, I'm so done with internet. I'm just like, just kill me, just end me, just, just shove, shove a, a gun up my ear and shoot. I dare you. All right, so this is going to do it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. I hope. Okay.
keep hitting my damn leg with thing and makes my camera wiggle and don't like it. All right. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys laughed a bit or at least enjoyed the couple minutes uh, I dedicated to that video. Uh, like I said, thanks a lot for uh, the, the love I got on the last video. Uh, it really meant a lot to me. And if this one could do as good or better, that would be even cooler. So maybe like drop a little like, drop a little comment. Tell me what you thought of the video. Give me some ideas I could do. Uh, share it with your friends. Hit the little notification bell, whatever thingy. I don't know. People told uh, People keep saying that, so I feel obligated to do it. But just do it. Boop it. Boop it on a snoot. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I know she can be so stuck up. A baddie with a fatty and a million bucks. She looking so bad, she knows what's up. Yeah, what's up? Girl, what's up? Knock him out with the one, two, I gotta have it. Yeah, treat me like a savage. Yeah.